Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Uh, welcome to my desktop, which is a picture of St. Bart's. And judging from these PC-12s over here, it's St. Bart's from about 1980. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to do a second follow-up. So this is the third video on the, the whole DLSS update situation. And, and each of the, well, the second video that I did was kind of a follow-up from information that I learned from the first. I mean, I assumed that it would be easy to do. Um, found out that quite a few people couldn't do it the way I did it for various reasons. Um, so I did the second video uh, to give people what I was hoping at the time was going to be um, kind of the final, you know, the final say, right? The way to do it if all else failed. Well, as it turns out, for whatever reason, there are some people who still can't find the file with DLSS Swapper. Now, this is the DLSS Swapper uh, program. People have had various issues with it. The most common one being that it just doesn't find the game. Um, you know, I don't have an answer for that one. Um, I, I have a suspicion. Um, there was one person in that that commented on the second video uh, about the DLSS Swapper program that they had originally had a Steam preview version of Microsoft Flight Simulator on their PC and then went ahead and bought the full version of the game, they couldn't find the full version, they couldn't find any version of Microsoft Flight Simulator in the LSS Swapper. And then when they when they went into their programs, their apps, uh, you know, their apps uh, list on Windows saw the preview version of the Flight Simulator uninstalled the preview version, which they didn't need to have anymore. And then once they did that, the game showed up in the LSS swapper. So if you have or had a preview version on Microsoft Flight Simulator, of Microsoft Flight Simulator anytime on your PC, that might be the issue. Um, another common question I got was, was why did I put the links to the two versions of the DLS file, DLSS file? Uh, in the uh, you know in the information section of the video, and the reason was just in, just in case you wanted those files, so you can download them yourself. I put the the DLSS file and the DLSSG file um, for the four series cards. Now, for those of you who can't do it via DLSS Swapper, I have another way, and. Uh, apparently I closed the other way. Hold on for one second. GPUZ. So, um, big hint, the solution is to use Tech Power Up's GPUZ file. I'll put this link in the, in the uh, description. You just download the folder. It's not like you guys can't, or download the file. Well, it's not like you guys can't Google it and find it, but I'll put the link in the description. And then what's going to come up is uh this program and it apparently disappears when you minimize it that's why <laughs> okay so uh let me do it a third time and the only reason i want to minimize was because that way it makes it a little easier to see unfortunately it's you you can't make the window any bigger i wish you could hopefully you guys can see this well enough so gra this is what you open graphics card sensors advanced go to advanced Click on this drop down general, come down here to NVIDIA DLSS, click on that, make sure all your, excuse me, make sure your drives are highlighted, and then start scan. And then what it does, oh, I guess you can, okay, now I can make it bigger. Come on, you little bugger. Um, what it does is then it searches your computer and finds all of the DLSS files. So now, like if you had version 2.5.1, you know, somewhere, um, you could look and see all of the DLSS files for uh, your NVIDIA card here. And that's, that's the location. Again, in the Windows apps folder, you do not want to hack your way into that and mess with that file. That's the one you don't want to mess with. It should be somewhere that's also accessible. It should be either in your Xbox games folder, um, you know, 
it, it, that's really where it should be. But um, you can, you know, like I said, go into these locations and find the file. Um, last thing for this video, um, it's kind of been split even, be, even Stephen, between people who couldn't find the file in Steam versus people who couldn't find the file in um, in the store version. So I, I just I, I, I can't really deduce from that what the problem is. Um, but one comment I got from somebody who found the version of the DLSS file for Steam said it was here. Steam apps, common, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I will blow that up as big as I can make it so you guys can see it. If you have the Steam version of this game, that's where it should be. If you can't use the LSS swapper, if for whatever, you know, I mean, you, you, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to find it with GPU-Z, although I've found out from the first two videos that my assumptions that things should work are not always true. Um, but if you have it on Steam, that's where it should be. And I will repeat one more time, um, you know, I've gotten a tremendous amount of good feedback and I, it's, I don't care necessarily for me, like for how it, you know, makes me look or whatever. Uh, but what it really makes me happy is how many people this has helped. Some people it's helped a little bit. Some people said it completely changed their, their sim experience. Like it was the best thing they've ever done to, you know, improve their sim experience. And as a, you know, as a fellow simmer, fellow, you know, flight simulator enthusiast, it literally could not make me happier. I'm so glad uh, that so many people uh, have gotten good uh, results out of this and some people have gotten great results. I'll repeat though, uh, you know, it's kind of like with the with everything with Microsoft Flight Simulator, there's so many, uh, you know, variables involved in terms of hardware, software, etc., it's just impossible to say. I mean, some people just don't get the results. Some people get different results. Some people, I've had a few people, a couple people that had like a loss, slight loss of performance. But, you know, um, for everybody that this helps, that's awesome. Um, I kind of find it hilarious that, I've be, that, it, that the two biggest videos I've ever done on my channel, uh, simulator videos anyway, have been about this tech stuff because I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, you know, tech knowledgeable. I wouldn't call myself tech savvy by any stretch, but I, you know, uh, I, I wouldn't have guessed that I would be like a tech, you know, tech YouTube poster, but I have two more things that I have gotten through possibly three more things that I've gotten through comments to the first two videos that I'm going to be posting in the next several days, one of which related to G-Sync, which, which I think might make a real difference for some people using G-Sync. And I have one more that I've taken quite a while to, to kind of get my head around and to get an understanding of that I think is the, it's certainly the most amazing thing that I've ever found from my sim experience and improving it. And it's basically a way of driving your GPU harder if you're CPU limited. Like we're basically been told, like if you're CPU limited, you're, you're dust. There's nothing you can do, right? I mean, you can, but it's just going to be a matter of, you know, compromises. This trick is pretty unbelievable. It's not really a trick. It's, it's just a... Uh, it's just uh, another feature, uh, NVIDIA feature. And I think it's this one's going to freaking blow you guys away, I really think. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to get that out there and see what people, you know, experience with it. Um, so those are two more things that are coming up in the next, you know, couple days anyway. And in the meantime, uh, feedback is very, very welcome. I hope that this can give uh, some of the people that haven't been able to update the file a chance to find it and do so. And as always, I really appreciate you guys and uh, we'll talk soon.